Hey, what up everybody? Welcome back. Guess what? We got some bad news. Just kidding, guys. I just couldn't stand the look of that quarantine tank. It was smelling in the garage, which is one thing I didn't predict that would happen, and getting all kinds of gnats in there. So, took down the quarantine tank in the garage, just have this little QT set up by my office now. But, in the main display, we do have some exciting news. We have a captive bred yellow tang. We are starting to get some algae. My nitrates are zero to one and my phosphates are less than 0.05, sometimes undetectable. So I'm assuming it's just from the dry rock probably is what it is. But coral wise, Everything for the most part is looking good. I did have a scully right here that ended up getting too much light because I added a third radion so that I can handle SPS. And that scully just didn't like getting that extra light so I moved that into the other tank. This gunny right here isn't really the happiest, not really liking the added light, but we'll see if he can acclimate and come back. I did also get, let's see if we can see him in there, a small captive bred marine beta. A few added corals are a green slimer and a I believe it's called a PC rainbow. We're just about two months in now. All right guys, so that does it for this update. We're two months into the new water box here. We set up a new quarantine tank because I couldn't stand the look of the one in the garage. We got a yellow tank a marine beta and we have some algae but that's okay that's part of getting a new tank set up and we'll get over it thanks for tuning in we'll see you guys next time